Okay guys, so I'm ready and I'm about to leave out so I'll see y'all when I'm taking pictures and show you I'll show you guys the fit when I'm taking pics but this is a shirt, skirt and I have dread on top I have sweat or what the hell so I have to on the car So for VIP we had to park the car far 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 and take a shuttle This is when we just got and came off the shuttle went in the line saw Neil all that happened and then this is the passageway well the VIP passageway to go into the concert so enjoy the video guys that's it for me talking yes, just am. enjoy Yeah. 
Then I get to it, you know. So by this time, I'm hungry and we were waiting on Brenna Boy for a while, but of course it may not come, so I was happy. Happy camper. <laughs> Like you're screaming really loud, but nobody. 
20 years you Make me When my whole world is set on fire Don't leave me alone I don't come, I don't come I know what I'm in this kilometer From the city I don't think for the game she don't be there I decide what my from a distance No this sweet of me Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me I don't come, I don't come I don't walk a many
So it's the next morning. I look like crap. <laughs> Last night was a definite success. Like performances, ten out of ten. Everything was just top tier. Like honestly, everything was just top tier. No cap about it. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> So it is two days after the Burna Boy concert. Give me a minute. Yeah, so it's two days after the Burna Boy concert, and I'm heading somewhere right now. But I'm just going to give you guys like a rundown on how everything was. Bro, the traffic on the road is crazy right now. Besides the point. But the traffic on the road right now, it's December 20th, and the traffic is crazy. Anyways, Burna Boy concert. So yeah, we arrived. I don't even know what time we we, we got to the Burna Boy concert, but. We got there Damn. and went in, I went to VIP, so I was in the VIP section, VIP was pack, when I say VIP pack, I mean VIP pack ram. Anyways, in VIP, we were trying to make it through the crowd which was extremely, extremely hard. Going through VIP was extremely hard because people had their seats from earlier, I'm guessing that they were there from earlier. So they have their seats and everybody done like have their spots already, right? Anyways, we got the VIP finally found a spot. The place pack up like sardine, like pack up like sardine. Anyways, we're getting straight into the show. Miss Kitty was hosting and her hosting was okay, but I feel like she could have done more as it relates to just there was a moment of silence where just music was playing and there was nothing like we never know walk one nothing so i feel like for that part it could have been so much better anyways lila ike performed first and when i say lila ike's performance was top tier like i felt every word of her performance you feel the journey what she got through you feel everything when she starts singing like lila is such a underrated artist y'all don't give her the recognition she deserves lila was top tier her performance was honestly amazing i mean see nobody else who could have started off the show then the way lila started off the show right then popcorn performance 20 out of 10 Popcorn performance was awesome, especially when Tony and Sing come from the stage and Poppy fully love out. Like, the man fully love out. Like, his performance with Tony and Sing was amazing. And then Barry Salmon came on and he sang with Popcorn as well. And when the man come from stage, bro, like goosebumps, like I literally had goosebumps right through the performance. From Lila Ike to Popcorn to Tony and sing to Barry Salmon like oh by the way when Popcorn started performing his mic was giving problems so he had mic issues and they started to boo him I think I got a clip of like people booing him well not really booing him but like booing the fact that the mic wasn't working so the mic wasn't working and he was literally singing out hell I would never dare hear nothing so after that no yeah so after the mic stopped working popcorn came off stage he came back the mic was working he did his performance did his performance with Tony and Singh did his performance with Paris Amman. and then after those performances okay so after popcorn came on then there was a silent 
like intermission where my where where music was just playing in the background and nobody was on stage nobody was saying anything we never know what one that is a part that i i did not like the two issues i have with this concert is one popcorn mic was not working i mean never love that for poppy because poppy i'm an artist and it might never did that work which kind of turned off everybody from the whole thing for a while and then the little intermission where nobody was on stage nothing was happening before burner boy came on then now burner boy came on stage somebody introduced him when we not even know so we're not talking about burner boy introduction but burner boy's performance was you would just have to be there like it was a legendary moment like burner boy's performance literally a legendary moment i wouldn't want to miss it for anything and i'm so so glad i must spend my money on god a man concert because if me never did it i'm gonna know i'm gonna do myself if i was not there to witness a brother boy's performance in jamaica i don't know i don't know brother boy came on stage and performed it was literally heartwarming like i feel like my life complete when brother boy starts singing and then he sang alone for the first time in the Caribbean. Him sing alone. He had his tours and he never yet sing alone. And if you guys know alone, that's a song that came in Black Panther. And I'm telling you, I had goosebumps when he started to sing alone. I had goosebumps. My heart is so full after leaving that concert, and me never waste one cent of my money. I spend 24, well, lie, I spend 20,000 dollars on a VIP ticket and I do not regret it, don't regret it, like, every cent of my money was worth it, like, my heart is so full. That was basically the rundown of the whole concert, overall I give it a solid 8 out of 10, the reason I'm not giving, uh, actually, I give it a 9 out of 10, I'm giving the Brenner Boy concert a 9 out of 10. The only things I did not like about the, the concert was where I was, I guess, like my section, like we did just pack up a lot, like there was hardly any space to really move around, that for one, then the mic issue that they had, I hated that, especially for such a big concert, like why are you having mic issues in a big ass concert, burn a boy, come to Jamaica, we now, we now have mic problems, that never cute, and then the little intermission, where it was just silent before Brenna Boy come on. It was probably around 40 minutes of just music playing after after popcorn perform and we never know what one. And then Brenna Boy came on and then it was all worth it. So that's my rundown of the Brenna Boy concerts in Jamaica. Absolutely amazing. Love it. 10 out of 10. Well, Brenna Boy parts and the performances were 10 out of 10. The only parts that I don't like is the part that I mentioned, but absolutely loved it. Worth every single penny that I spent. And that's just that. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll end it all properly when I stop the car. Come if you let me a short right now because I concentrate on the road. But yeah, I'm so in and off. So here we okay guys so this is the end of today's burner boy concert vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i know there wasn't much interaction between us because it was a concert like but i hope you guys enjoyed it regardless i'll see you guys in my next video be sure to go ahead and check out my get ready with me for the burner boy concert so you guys can see all the things i did to prepare for this concert and yeah i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video